Hi guys, Kerry Gray here, back at the Dune Lut Resort, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a very simple, easy exercise to ensure that you're getting the correct ball position each and every time. Let's get into it. So there's a lot of confusion around ball position with a lot of recreational golfers. And then from a simplistic level, I'm just going to really give you a great, easy to set up drill that can give you a good feeling of where your ball position needs to be for each and every club throughout your bag. So starting down here on the ground, and you can set up something very similar. I've got two alignment rods forming a T-square. I've got one which would be my target line. And then I've got one here which is running perpendicular, which is going to show us where our ball position is located relative to my stance okay so relative to the heels of both feet so what I'm looking for here is if I was to place a golf ball at the end of this rod here pointing towards the camera uh, my goal with all of these shots when the balls on the ground and this is one of the important things here is whenever the balls on the ground we want a descending blow on that golf ball we want to hit the golf ball first and then the turf second that's how you're going to get your compression that's how you're going to get your divot after the golf ball leading to more distance as a result so to enable that to happen what i want to see is a good stock reference would be to have your ball position Whenever the ball's on the ground, and I'm going to talk about different clubs in a second, but whenever the ball's on the ground, about one club head inside from the lead foot. Now, sometimes I'll see players that have their ball position way back here, and then even sometimes out too far towards the front foot. So having this T-squared down on the ground provides you with some sort of reference for where that ball position would be located relative to your stance. So I'm going to measure my club head simply just by turning it on its side between the heel of my left foot and then also this stick that's down on the ground. Now, once I set my club into that position, relative to the length of the club I'm using. So for example, I've got a seven iron in my hand. Uh, I'm going to get what would feel like a balanced solid stance. Now for those of you seven iron, a general reference is going to be, I wanna see your ankles or the middle of your ankles relatively underneath your armpits, or if you're using your hips as a reference, the outside of the hips going straight through the middle of the ankles as well. That's a good place for you to be. You can also see that my toes are flared out. This is important for stability and also to encourage the correct movements throughout the golf swing. So uh, effectively, one of the best ways to think about it is ankles underneath your armpits, toes flared out, and that would form a good solid base. Now, ball position, once again, we're gonna get that ball one club head inside the lead foot. So when I put that club back and behind the golf ball, this would be my stock reference for a seven iron. Simple as that, effectively. All things being equal from this position, I would make a backswing, a downswing, the golf club would strike the golf ball first, then the turf second, and then that would give me a little divot after. Let's have a look at that. And then that would lead to a good result. So if I had a shorter club, well then what would I do? Well effectively, with the shorter club, I could stand a little bit narrower. And now you can see that that ball position, even though it's still one club head inside that lead foot, it now looks like it's much more towards the center of my stance. Simple as that. So we're not effectively moving the ball further back in the stance, because that would change the position in which I would place my upper body. All I'm doing is simply just widening or narrowing my right foot relative to the position of my left foot. So the ball position, once again, stays same. If I've got a pitching wedge, I'd be gripping down. I would be in this position. This looks like the ball position's more forward. Then if I had something like a four iron, I would stand a bit wider, but I'm still getting that ball position in exactly the same spot. So great little drill for you to try out. Put down a T-square, use your left foot as a reference for where that ball position needs to be. Now, relative to what club you're using, just talking about irons today, have a narrower or wider stance, just so you can keep your balance a little bit better and hit some better shots. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe, comment below if you've got any questions. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray. Thanks for watching.